Dear friends, you are on the ATAS channel, and we will speak in this video about trading at the session opening, trading strategies, open drive types, discuss their pros and cons, and consider chart examples. Is it profitable to trade at the session opening? There's no common opinion in this respect. Some traders believe that this time is dangerous for trading and complex for risk control. Others believe that it is very profitable to trade at the opening if you have a clear plan and proper skills. One more advantage of the open drive is that traders may plan their time and focus on trading when the exchange opens. Let's speak about open drive types. From the perspective of the market profile, the beginning of a trading session is the first trading hour. In other words, it is the time when two initial balance periods, 30 minutes each, are formed. The trading session opening may look as follows. Open drive. The price opens either above or below the previous day's value area and moves during the trading session in a certain direction without significant rollbacks. Trend days develop after such openings. As soon as the trader identified the open drive, he should stay with the market rather than try to trade against it. Open rejection reverse. The price opens above or below the previous day's value area but falls back. These are non-trend days. However, it's less risky to trade since the range move and expands in one direction. Open test drive. The price moves above and below the previous day's value area. Open auction in range. The price opens inside the previous day's value area and is traded in the range around the opening. It doesn't move outside the previous day's value area. Open auction outside range. The price opens outside the previous day's value area and is traded in the range around the opening. In other words, the price stays above or below the previous day's value area during the whole trading session. These open drive types are used by various traders and proprietary companies which apply the volume profile in market analysis. However, this list is not comprehensive and you may detect your own regularities, monitoring the market, for example, during the first 15 to 20 minutes or half an hour. For example, Toby Crable, who tested various patterns and described them in one of his books, specifies two types of the trading session opening. The first type is when the first 5-minute bar closes on the opposite to the opening side. That is, if the bar opens at the price low, it should close at the high. Next, several bars expand the initial range. After that, the price consolidates and continues focused movement. Such an opening resembles open drive very much. The price shouldn't reverse sharply and move against the first bar on high volumes and wide range. The second type coincides with the first one by description, but the first bar volume is significantly bigger than the volume of the similar bar during the previous 10 days. The price cannot immediately expand the range after such a volume, there should be a period of consolidation. Then new traders emerge and move the price further. Such an opening also results in a trend day. Let's consider the second type in the 5-minute USD RUB futures chart. There are delta, open interest, and VWAP indicators in the chart. The delta shows the difference between the market buy orders and market sell orders. The positive delta appears when there are more aggressive buys than sells. The negative delta appears when there are more market sells than market buys. If the open interest OI grows, it means that traders open trades rather than close them. If the OI goes down, it means that traders close their positions and exit from the market. Only the Moscow exchange shows the open interest in the course of the trading session. The first bar volume is significantly bigger than the first bar volumes during the previous 10 days. The bar closes nearly at the high and opens at the low. According to Crable, this trading situation is closer to the second type. That is why it makes sense to expect consolidation after a huge volume. It takes place on the next three bars. Volumes fall, and the price doesn't move below the middle of the first bar. The growth continues after consolidation. A small rollback takes place in point 2. The open interest practically doesn't change, which means that there are no new contracts here. A new rollback takes place in point 3, and it's much stronger. However, the price fails to move below the first rollback's low. 
The open interest falls, most probably the traders with long positions register profit. This day resembled a trend day very much. Another trading situation develops when the price reverses on the second, third bar and volumes increase. Crable calls these actions a failure of the early opening. Traders often may open an opposite impulse trade at such moments. As a rule, impulse trades are fast and you should be very attentive since the price may also sharply move against them. Let's consider an example in the 5-minute PAO Sberbank stock futures chart. The first candle is white. The closing and opening are on the opposite sides. It should attract the attention of traders who hope for a trend day. However, the next candle doesn't expand the range, but reverses. The second candle volume is significantly less than that of the first one. Maybe it was just a small retracement. However, the third candle shows that sellers took the situation under control. Crable writes that if the price opens outside the previous day's value area on the first bar, but the next candle closes inside, then the price most probably would be traded within the previous day's value area. This trading situation resembles an upthrust. Let's consider an example in the 5-minute PAO Sberbank stock futures chart. We used the market profile drawing object from the upper menu in order to see the previous day's profile. We marked the value area high, VAH, and maximum volume level with black levels and numbers 1 and 3 respectively. The price broke out of the previous value area on the next day's opening, but came back and continued to decrease. The second bar overlapped the first bar body completely and closed below its low. It was possible to open short trades with a stop at several ticks higher than VAH. Summary if you want to trade profitably at the opening, you need a clear plan and knowledge of average trading volumes in the instrument during the previous month. Before the opening, it makes sense to identify key levels from which it would be possible to open trades. It is difficult and risky to monitor several instruments simultaneously at the opening, since the price moves very fast at the opening. Thank you for watching this video. Share it with your friends if it was useful for you and see you in our next videos.